The only one gatekeeping this progress is the Conservative leader himself. He pretends he hasn't been in government for the last eight years. He, he acts like this is his first day on the job, Mr. Speaker. The fact that he has to read off notes would suggest it is his first day on the job. But the reality is that housing costs have doubled since he promised to lower them. Yes, he's created massive programs with wonderful new agreements and beautiful photo ops where politicians pat each other on the back and smile while they cut ribbons. The problem is that after eight years, nothing is getting built. Why won't the Prime Minister get out of the way, cut the bureaucracy so we can build the homes? Yeah. Housing experts like Mike Moffat say the Conservative leader's plan is exceptionally weak and it's a sign that the Conservatives don't understand the urgency or scale of the housing crisis. He brags that there's a housing crisis <laughs> after he's been in power for eight long years. He quotes the same failed liberal academics that gave him the advice that helped him double the price in the first place. Our common sense plan will incentivize cities to speed up and lower the cost of building by requiring they permit 15 percent more homes as a condition of getting the money. The more they build, the more they get. The less they build, the less they get. We pay builders based on the number of homes they build realtors on the number that they sell. We should pay municipalities based on the number they permit. Isn't that common sense? Yeah.